Good evening all, hope we are all doing well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Affinity Racing, to a Friday night stream, which we don't do uh, all that much of, it's distracting me that little light there changing in the background, I didn't have it set to that before the stream started, hope we are all doing good, let's just see if I can, there we go, bring the chat round a little bit, John, how are we doing, Bama, how are we doing, Hope we are all good. Now, Daily Race C is what will be on tonight. The uh, Daily Race B looks good, we have to say. Uh, group 3 at Spa. The usual, however, 4 or 5 laps is never enough at Spa. So that requires a good sort of quality time to, to keep that one uh, going and keep that entertaining. But Daily Race C at Dragon Trail gardens now this is bob how are we doing something a little bit uh it doesn't come up too often but it's normally good races however we are literally literally doing this without any practice so how difficult is this going to be and we have a little bit of tuning permitted on this. And I've not got any setup as well. Uh, why don't I wear my merchandise on stream? Good question. So basically, I got myself a load of the. Obviously, I got one each of the t shirts, medium t shirts. And then I uh, basically shrunk them all in the wash. <laughs> so then I got large t-shirts and I'm conscious of doing the same thing. So, <laughs> right. We're jumping into this race with zero, zero practice. Now we can't always do this on Gran Turismo at the moment because, especially later in the week, we're getting back up to the um, high end of A, A plus lobbies. And so it's proven a little bit more tricky to be starting from the back. Might sell more t-shirts that way. That's true, to be fair, if I actually wore them on stream. I'll have to start doing that. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, we are in the Megan Trophy. Now, I don't know if a slight tweak to the tuning settings on here is worthwhile. I suspect it probably is. Now, I've gone with them again. Safest bet for the first race attempt, I would say. Plus, I know that it is good on tyre wear. We do have a mandatory one pit stop minimum. Right, we make up two positions. One person bins it. The other, we get an overtake on. Although, I think he had quite clearly made a mistake as well. Oh, we go wide. Right, can we try and hold on to the back of this slot here? Oh, as my wheel starts to basically explode. Can we all hear that there? Right, not quite hear it underneath the game noise, potentially. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, sorry, John. I was a little bit late getting on and uh, <laughs> picked the wrong car. I thought that this one had a livery, but then I couldn't quite see it, so I just quickly jumped on. But we will get it on for the next one. I don't know if it's worth staying in the Megan or not, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, this wheel doesn't sound very good driving like this. <laughs> Probably didn't look the cleanest there, I've got to say. That was absolutely not a push to pass, I promise you that. I'm going to have to try and go into the pits to fix my wheel in the meantime. No! Oh, and we've crossed the pit line. Right, let's try and sort this wheel out. We'll have to come out with this, I think. have to come out of this. I'm going to try and reset this wheel but it's not having it. Hi da Ryder, how we doing buddy? You've tuned in at the wrong time however because now our wheel's about to explode. I don't know if you can hear this. I'll be quiet here. See if you can hear this on the microphone. Nope. I'm trying to reset the fans, but it's not having it. Well, this isn't a very good start to the stream, is it? My wheel deciding to break. No, that's not having it. This really isn't working, is it? Hmm. I never have normally this much problem resetting it. I do have to say that. One. Two, three, four. We'll hold down for a very, very long ten seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, bugger off. The fans won't even reset now. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good, does it? So if we unplug the wheel. There we go. I'll give it a second. Right, we'll try again. Right, we'll do this, uh, should we do this? What should we do? Because we'll do quali now. We'll either do, um, oh, this has got to be a laugh. Let's quickly jump in this now, quickly jump in this. Diddy Race here, this will be funny. And then we'll do Daily Race C. This is going to be hilarious with no practice. Or just very annoying, one of the two. Yeah, 
The wheel is slightly still, but that's the normal sound of the fan on. You can kind of hear it, but that's just the normal fan as it is. When I sit in complete silence, you might hear the fan that I've got on in the background, which is an actual fan to cool the room down, nothing to do with the fan on the wheel. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but you hear it when it kicks in. It's like, it's really bad, but the whole, the whole wheel, the whole, like, sort of station vibrates. Which is, we don't want that. Right, we'll have to head straight out for uh, warm-up and practice then. I've never driven this car before. Units. Trying to get the live stream on. Oh, this is struggling to connect as well. Ooh. You don't want to hear me twice, that's for sure. Right, quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go. No chicane as well. Love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fantastic. What is this thing? It literally look what the hell is that? Why are we driving an air conditioning unit? What is going on with this? <laughs> That's mental. Right, we'll have a laugh here with this daily race uh B uh, A, sorry. Right, we'll have a laugh here. Yeah, let's go. I've got no idea. Ooh! My reactions was horrific there. I was still busy, too busy change, trying to change the camera angle. And the, get the radar on. There we go. How they just launched so quickly there then? Do you have to short shift this thing? Why has it only got three gears? What's all that about? Right, half of them will be off the track then, I presume. Or one of them is. What are the brakes like? 200. Play it safe. Oh! Oh, 200 was actually bang on, but then someone launches us across the chicane. We got damage. Our air conditioning unit is broken. Oh my god. It won't even turn. Right, this thing is horrid. Right, go, 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 go. 200 again, if we're lucky. Oh, God. Right, go, 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 go. No, no, no. Oh, I was wrong. This is not going to be a laugh. Why won't it go into reverse? Come on. Oh. How wrong was I? This is horrific. That is awful. Why are we racing in this? Why are we racing in this? It's a death trap. That is mental. Why do I do Friday night streams? This is what happens every Friday night. Ooh! Oh my god. Lift off oversteer is horrific. Right, 200 meters. If we're lucky.
go. Some powerful fans, absolutely. This looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks like a Top Gear challenge. Right, we keep it together that time. Red herring in front of us. And we will get past. Man, why do I do it? Why do I do it? You had a win in this, Jesus. Now we got no straight line speed with all this damage. <laughs> no! It just holds on, it just holds on. Even an Adam, this is not the time to be tuning in. Have you seen this race, Adam? I've never seen this car before in my life. We're literally driving what looks like a fridge. An industrial fridge. Oh my god. It looks absolutely ridiculous. It just looks awful this is why this is why the milkshake machine never works at McDonald's because people are racing them around Monza what on earth are we doing here oh my god no I cannot be doing this. I'm going to get lapped. This is mental. It's an utter joy to watch. No, it's not. <laughs> It's definitely not. 214, 15, 16 miles an hour. Oh, come on. It's like you would turn up to Curry's, right, you know, like the electronics place. You turn up to Curry's and you go, oh yeah, I'm just after like a, just a mini fridge, just something small, a little mini fridge for, uh, for the office. And then this is what they would try and sell you instead. Oh my god. The chase cam does not work for me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to break my hands with all this... Uh Swapping and changing over steer. At this point, we might as well just wait for the race leaders and then just try and have a race with them instead. Here they come. <laughs> Blue flags? I don't think so. <laughs> the shed is coming along nicely, Adam, yeah. It is, uh... Well, basically, it just needs painted now. So we're just waiting for the plaster to dry. Uh, over the next week or so. Can we overtake the race leader? Oh, we get a penalty for that there. Still going to overtake the race leader, though. No, we're not. Where does he break? Breaks where we break. 
but look at that, he gets a much better run there. How is he that quick? Good on you, son. Yeah, but that does sound pretty awful, Adam, i got to say. I do not envy it. <coughs> keep it planted. That is the rule. Oh, I can't even keep up. I don't know which way the wheel is facing anymore. Yeah, my rule of keep a planted there did not work. We've been lapped twice now. Or by the entire grid at least. That is one of the worst cars I've ever driven in my life. What an awful race. Saved a few quid to ourselves, but never again. Yeah, that's my approach to everything now. Take the Richard Branson approach of who, not how. Who can I ask to do this, not how do I do it. 1.2k this stream. I'm not too sure. It'd be good if we could do. What are we on now? 1.19. Oh, hey, we might do, you know. We only need two more. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. 1,198. <laughs> Kiwi, how are you doing? Thanks for the race, even if you're ghosted. That was, that was the first time, no practice on that. That was absolutely horrific. I will not be doing that again. That was awful. But hilarious. Right, let's get some practice in for this one. See if you can spot our McGann trophy. Yeah, I didn't think I had it. I don't have it. Or am I being really silly? Yeah, I don't have the trophy, John. Are you, all, are you already... But then I do remember you making a livery for that one. We've had this chat before about the trophy, I'm sure. Unless I'm being a complete div. Can anyone see it on the screen here? Definitely not. I don't even know if the trophy's the right car, to be honest. Everyone, as we say, is in the, um, the Citroen. Yeah, if uh, I didn't think that the DR and SR was still on for um, Daily Race A, but if it is, it will absolutely take a hammer, and that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> maybe stick to just one or two races. You really should have it. I know. I don't know why I don't. I think that genuinely, I don't like this about Gran Turismo. Is that now you just rent all the cars? I think it should definitely charge you to rent them and make you buy them. But anyways, right, I don't even think that the trophy was the car that we really want to be in for that race. I don't know. We'll, we'll do the Citroen. We'll do the Citroen. Um, right, and then we can do a little bit of setup on this, can't we? So we'll try and do a little bit of that. Racing it two weeks ago. I don't, I genuinely, I don't even remember, you know. I cannot remember. Oh, but if you're unlucky, it affects DR2. Oh, wow, all right, I didn't know that then. 
Um, right, this is the this is the sort of stuff that we can uh, be tweaking here. To be honest, apart from dampening ratios, possibly coming down. I think. Yeah, John, I genuinely, I don't know. I, 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 I remember a similar discussion, but I don't know if it was about that car or if it, if it would have been a different car. I genuinely can't remember. Was it not about the Lambo or something like that? Maybe. I <laughs> didn't know either I do now, though, yeah. Found out the hard way, yeah. Right, we'll do two quick laps here, or hopefully they're quick laps. The first one probably won't be. Oh my god, the understeer is horrific. The understeer is horrific. Is that because of the settings I've just put on it there, or what's going on? Why is that so awful? I'm not joking you, that is... You can't be quick in that, with handling like that. That's horrendous. What kind of absolute freaks are driving this car? Gun has to be better than this, surely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Try. Well, fair enough. I, but I genuinely, well, it's not in the garage. Eh? I haven't deleted it or uh, <laughs> got rid of it. I genuinely, on Gran Turismo, I'm not even joking yet. I wouldn't even know how to do that. So I've got no idea. I think I'm going to prefer the trophy though because this is. I don't like this. What's a quick, quick lap round here? Because I very much doubt it's a 1 minute 40. Oh my god, like the early lift off that you have to do. Is pretty extreme. One thirty eight, right, okay, well that's what we'll try an AM four here. Is that what it was for like a top ten time of thirty eight, or is that just where we should be? Oh no. Awful that is. Awful. Can do one thirty eight in the McGann, right, okay. This should just, just put us down to the 38s, I think. What will this be, a point eight, 38.8? Point eight? Point six. Right, four tenths up here. I'm trying to work out there whether or not it's worth short shifting or revving out in this car. Right, 
or almost five tenths up yet. So that was where we lost a bit of time. Try and cut that corner there. There we go. We're six and a bit tenths up, so we could get down. We'll not do it this lap because it's about to end. Uh, our countdown there. Seven tenths up there. So definitely, definitely, we can get down to the 37s, I'd have thought. Right, we're down into... Uh, we got B-rated lobby now. Then we're starting at the back. So this, this could be interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot about the t-shirt game. We'll do that one next uh, next quality round. Bucky and Tuss in this one there. Roger, how are we doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you are having a good Friday. Like deployed, thank you very, very much. What a hero. Right, we're starting from the back here. How badly can this one go? Let's say this is the first proper attempt here of Daily Race C. Hopefully our wheel doesn't break this time round, like it did in the last one. And let's go again. Go! Two hours of work left, good stuff. Oh, watching from Jamaica. Love that. Love that. Well, hopefully we can make the last two hours of work go a little bit quicker if you're sticking around on the stream, Roger. Oh, damage. He was super early to put the brakes on there. Oh, bucky has gone from P5 all the way down to P15. No. He's had a nightmare start there. Oh, these guys have crashed. Try and get the undercut here. Get a bit of a nudge from Bucky behind. We're going to get a good launch out of the corner as a result. Oh, we're there, buddy. We're there. He's nearly lost it. We've been pushed off. <laughs> we pulled onto it. Oh, my God. I'm going to get hit here and pushed wide. Right, we're up to P13. Oh, my days. Days, days, days. Come on, right, calm down. Settle down. Someone's gone wide. God, I don't know what to make of this race so far then. <laughs> oh, oh, he's had a break early. Someone's gone into the back of us. We've got loads of damage now. Oh, come on. Oh, we're getting held right up. No. Oh, what a nightmare so far.
Oh. I think Rabbit was keen to get through there. P14, we drop all the way down to now. I say all the way down to, I think we were only a couple of places ahead, but... So we had raced this, because even though we ended up having to bail out of the last one, with the wheel deciding to blow up, um, it was very much the same there. With the field spread, everyone is like single file. It's really hard to do good racing around here. You've got to watch him coming back onto the track here. Is he going to bin it? He keeps it planted, keeps it facing the right way. We get back past the Lambo there. Yeah, the undercut round here, in terms of pitting before the people in front, definitely, definitely powerful. Right, I'm starting to, starting to get used to this Citroen. And kind of how we need to drive it in terms of the early lift and all the rest of it. Now I think I probably will change tyres when we go in to do our pit stop. It'll cost us a couple extra seconds, but I think it'll be worth it. So easy to do what he's just done there and spin it on that kerb on the right hand side. Right, up to 12th. Here we go, we're start. Oh! That put me right off there. <laughs> Alright, we're up to P10. I was just about to say, we're catching up to the pack there. And then we just watched someone at the back of that pack get absolutely obliterated there. <laughs> do you think he was angry at him? Or do you think he forgot to press the brakes? Alright, come on, let's keep going. Right, now we've got a bit of track in front of us, and these guys are fighting up ahead. That was uh, hilarious, that. My guess is that uh, he was a little bit annoyed with somebody. <laughs> Didn't half put me off, though. I think I just came off the brakes altogether <laughs> and then went way too deep into the corner. You, do you reckon box, John? I think I'll, I'll probably stay out now because we've got a bit of a gap in front of us. So at the moment, I'll stay out and I'll, because I will change tyres. So I want to try and get a decent amount of life out of both. But I'm probably going to pit this end of this lap, I would have thought. So we do five laps on the slightly heavier car when it's full of fuel. And now that we're three quarters of tank, we'll jump on to do the rest of the laps on a fresh set, I would have thought. Don't bin it. Don't bin it. Oh my god. Catching up to this group now a little bit, but it's really difficult to gain time on people around here. So many tricky corners, twists and turns, dead easy to lose a tenth or two. I imagine a lot of them are going to come into the pits this lap.
Right, magic. He's trying to go into the pits, he's going to get a penalty for that. Right. Well, there's one more place we know we definitely should get. <clears throat> right, away we go. Right, I think all those guys did change tyres. I was going to say, there's the chance that if they were in something like the Megane or the Alpha, if that's quick rounds here, I don't know. There we go, we get another place. I think that was... Oh, that's the guy that already cut across. I was going to say, we might have got one more position, knowing that someone was serving a three-second penalty, but unfortunately that was him right there. Right, can we get into the top 10? We started last. Can we get into the top 10? Well, we can see P9 and 10 there. And we might just get the jump on both of them here while they scrap. Oh, he's breaking very early there. Right, moment of truth now. P1 comes into the pits as well. Supra works well. Yeah, I like the Supra. Don't know why the Citroen seems to be the car of choice around here. I'm not enjoying driving it, to be honest. It's got to be good for something, though, that I can't quite work out until I can compare the other cars because the the, uh, the Megane Trophy felt great. But maybe it's just not quite as quick in a straight line. I think that's probably one of the perks to the Citroen. Now we should have been able to get the jump on this guy here, but unfortunately he's going to block us coming out of the pit, so we're just going to end up on top of him coming out of the pits. Ah! Lost a bit of time scrapping there. We are up to P9, however. Which is good. Both of them nearly spin it there. Can we try and get round here and go the slightly longer way around? Oh, we binned it. Fantastic. Oh, that's what happens when you try and partake in a bit of racecraft. I bin it like that. Right, we're still on for P10, hopefully, here. Oh, this is why you cannot race without any practice. <laughs> Not Gran Turismo for me anymore. It just does not work out. Oh, come on. Hold on to P10 at least. Oh, no. Right, rabbit in front of us, yeah. Can't believe I made that stupid mistake there. We could have been on for a... What would it have been? P7? P6? P7? Or at least been looking at it. P9 it's going to have to try and be now though. Otherwise we have to hold on to P10. Oh, now I made that mistake loads in one of the... Uh, it was either a daily race or I think it was actually... Oh, it was our British Heart Foundation race, and I absolutely ruined my race every time. I think it was British Heart Foundation. 
or it might have been one of the manufacturers events binned it there every time trying to cut that corner a little bit too much McGann's way more fun yeah Try and chase Rabbit down here. He's in the Lambo. Can we have him? Yeah, Sunday's going to be good. British Heart Foundation, Lago Major GP. The proper layout. Difficult track that though, isn't it? To stay consistent at as well at the same, at the same time. Corvette does feel good around there though. I think there'll be cars that are quicker, but uh, hopefully the Corvette can still give them a give them a good run. Right, should we try and have this into the braking zone? Why not? He's going to get the switch back. Should have seen that one coming. Right, let's not make the same mistake if we try and hang it around the outside. He's going to get in front anyway, so we're not going to bother with that one. But we will try and get a little undercut on this corner here as we try for a better exit. Go to the other side. Not quite going to work. I'm now on the outside. Have to park the brakes on as we almost go into each other. Come on. Right. It's a dash up the uh, the straight now. Go 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 go. I'm still going to go all the way to the outside. He's got exactly the same idea. All the way to the outside because we both now want <laughs> the better run onto the pit straight. This is good racing. This is really good racing. Breaking earlier there. Again, trying to go for the better exit. Not quite going to happen. Right, we go again. Take this a little bit better this time. Exactly the same thing. We're trying to get a better run out of here. Onto the gravel almost. He stays to the inside. My bad. We almost end his race there with a bit of a battle. We just managed to send a note saying, I am sorry, before we hit the Brayton zone. And this time, potentially, we could have him. <laughs> Final lap. Let's see what we can do. Oh! No! Almost lose it there in the right hander, that second chicane. Or the first chicane, sorry, second part of the first chicane. Go, 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 go. We are desperately trying to have this now. A little bit too deep there, maybe, but I was trying to go for the V cut. Now I'm going to switch back to the other side, try and do what we failed to do the other lap. Not quite, because we can't get alongside. So many opportunities to overtake that I'm not quite managing to have here. Right, same again. Keep it planted. Go, go, go. No. 
it's not quite going to happen I don't think but that was a tremendous little battle for quite a few laps there we're going to be closer than I would have thought there to the line great race great race and unfortunately we can't get it we, we keep the top 10 uh, which for a race that we binned and absolutely ruined we could have been so much further up the road there aiming for a P5 P6 out of that a disastrous race ends in the best couple of battles on the last lap there That was great, great race and that. Sometimes you might ruin your race, but it's worth sticking around for because a disastrous race ended in a really good last couple of lap battles. That was worth sticking around for, definitely. Right then. Victor, how we doing? Karma D. Gaiman and Joe Mummer, welcome, welcome. Does that say Mummer? Yes, it does. Welcome, welcome. First time seeing you guys in chat, I believe. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. That might have just took us over our um, 1,200 as well. No, it hasn't. 1,099. Close, 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 close. we got one more to go. Watch everybody unsubscribe. Right, let's go again. We'll try another race here now that we've had a little bit more practice. Uh, we'll try the Megan. Well, actually, shall we? Because the Megan isn't the quickest round there to be honest um god these guys into the 35s wow wow the g70 as well could be worth a look interesting to see the evo there viper nsx there is the huracan there's our trophy once again the vantage as well oh we see the uh, portion there the cayman majority is the citroen though Let's try and get a good setup on the Citroen. And we'll go again in the Citroen. Right, so let's try a little bit of a different setup perhaps. John was suggesting some different figures for the uh, slip diff, so let's do that. For the differentials. John said five. All, all fives, I think you said, John, didn't you? Oh, feels weird putting brake and sensitivity all the way down there. I think my understanding of what it does is slightly different, because I expect to have no brakes at that point, but I don't think that's the case. Um, the understeer was pretty horrific. <clears throat> um, the understeer was difficult. What can we do to improve the understeer? That's what we want to try and figure out. I don't think that actually stiffening the anti-roll bar will help us there. It normally does make it a bit trickier. Dampening down, do we think? Oh no. Or is it expansion that we're going to want to have put down? That's what I just did on the last one. John can tell me if I'm just absolutely butchering my car now, but... I ah, see the lift-off oversteer there is pretty awful now. Lower the front anti-roll bar. Lower the anti-roll bar. Interesting. All right, we'll give. I'll quickly put a lap in here and see where we're where we're at. I do feel like I'm battling with the car a bit here. The understeer, the lift-off oversteer, is definitely a problem. Unless I just have to put up with that. All 
right, we'll see where this laps at in terms of that 138.655. Get your guesses in then. What will our lap time be? We like to play ourselves a little game at this point here. Oh, the braking's actually... I stopped a bit quicker than I was expecting there. The, um... The game that we like to play during quali is if you can guess what my fastest lap of the session will be. Free t-shirt is yours from the merch store. Links to that in the description. I'll tell you what I am noticing is that the tyre wear will be a lot worse because we are sliding about a little bit more. Overall, though, the car doesn't feel too bad. I'm probably all right with it, as it is at the moment there. What will our lap time be here? Well off the pace, I imagine. Right, let's try and set a quicker lap here. Get your guesses in. What will our lap time be? Right, four tenths up on that time. We basically need to get about a second. We want a one second improvement. <laughs> is what we're going to try and aim for here. Because that's roughly where we would have been on the last lap. We were six or seven tenths up on that 38.6. So we know we can get down to the 37s in this thing. Yeah, all three decimal places. 38776. Go. That does feel like a better exit. It's going to be seven tenths improvement here. Where's this going to put us? There we go. 38.4. We'll have enough time to get one more lap in here. If you want to take another guess now is your time thirty eight four two six Bit too early on the power there. Come on, no! A little bit too early on the power. going to lose our time there but never mind 38.450 is our new faster slap there a couple tenths improvement on the previous I know that we can get down to the 37, so that's a bit frustrating. Because we were going to on that last lap before we went into the last race. But we'll try and push on. Close around this one. We're back up to some A-plus lobbies. 
So regardless of our slight improvement, we're still right at the back of the grid. Where's Closer right there? There he is. Yeah, absolutely ruined that last lap. <laughs> no doubt about it. Jay, how we doing? Hope we're all good. Welcome, welcome. You on doing some races tonight or not? Right, I'm going to put our brake balance to the rear as well. We'll go two, just to be trying to protect those fronts a little bit. Right, predictions in. We start from the back again. P15, despite a slight improvement on our quality time. We obviously need more of an improvement by quite some margin. That Citroen does look fantastic, but it's definitely not the most comfortable to drive with this setup at the moment. Here's the Renault in front of us, though, which is what we were in earlier. Someone's had a poor start there. Right. We are... Oh, there's someone gone. Right, we're battling with a bit of lift-off oversteer in this thing now, but hopefully, hopefully, we can make it work. Roger thinks we'll finish P7. Hopefully, that'll be a decent result from 14th. Oh, well, 15th, because we just gained a position with him binning it there. Switch back on the Porsche, or no? No. <laughs> Oh, that lift off over here. Look at it. That is really tricky. Right. Sort of stay to the outside here. Able to react. Hopefully to anything going on in front. Everyone gets through there nice and cleanly. That is very rare. Right, not too bad still. The Portuguese in the Megane. With a poor exit there, we're actually going to struggle to get to the inside before we have to just tap the brakes into turn one. This is the problem here, is that all these corners, very tricky to oh, get an overtake and hold on to it. <laughs> and you can lose a lot of time trying to get a move done. And so you end up, a lot of the time, not wanting to take the risk and sitting behind in the traffic for a few more laps than you would ideally like. A little bit too deep there, but we'll try and V-cut this one back across. Look at this, look at this. What we got here, eight cars within about two seconds of each other. Oh, losing so much time. I didn't want to try and stay on the outside of the McGann there, just in case he understeered off. So we braked earlier, tried to get the sort of undercut, better exit out the corner. Didn't pay off. And we're still behind him a lap later. Oh, someone's serving a penalty. A few more of them, please. Right, 
Right, still not managing to make any inroads in terms of positions here. You like my uh, like his optimism finishing P7, yeah. You never know. He who dares. Breaking a bit earlier this time. There's someone gone. Close are having a bit of a nightmare here as well. Having to break way more than I wanted to there. You want to get a nice smooth exit through there. Gonna go to the inside here, I think. All right, someone into the pits. We're still behind this lot here. Yeah, just don't see it happening. Yeah, it's proven difficult to make any progress. It was all right in that B-rated lobby. Come on, we let closer I go for the gamble. No, he backs out of it. Go, 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 go. Slight coming together there as we both go through that chicane. Oh, great internet for this guy here. Stick. I did relatively well to keep the car at bay like this for uh, the first three laps at least. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we could have seen that happening. Me binning it was definitely more likely than the uh, the P7, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Nightmare. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out for one more lap and then we'll change tyres after this. End of this lap here. need to try and just stop the car from understeering. So basically the issue is, is that the car feels way too responsive to the power. So when you've got the power on, it just understeers like crazy. As soon as you're trying to turn into a corner, if you lift while you're halfway through that corner, the car just then oversteers like crazy. So what do we do to fix that? Because I've got no idea. You see what I mean there? As soon as I'm off the throttle, same here. As soon as you're off the throttle, oversteer. There we go again. That's got nothing to do with the brake balance either because that's before I put the brake balance to the back. It was the same. Yeah, pitting end of this lap.
saw that one coming. I should have reacted better to that there. I thought I'd cleared the guy serving a penalty, but obviously not. Yellow flags are out. Can we pull anything back from P14 here, do we think, or no? Or do we think it's a write-off now? It's probably a write-off, isn't it? If it wasn't a write-off before, it's definitely a write-off now. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, that one hurt, definitely. I'm laughing at your comment there, John. I'm guessing that meant hammer time, but... Understeers, the understeers just way too horrific. Right, we're literally stone dead last now. Ah! I need to look at the setup on here again. Proving very difficult. KP, how are we doing? Try the G70. We give it a little look. I was feeling like I, had, I was starting to get all right pace in this thing. And then I've uh, basically gone and butchered the the setup, I think. As long as you don't overreact there, you're alright. You can still kind of run across the, the curb. As long as you don't try and quickly fix it, <laughs> you're normally alright. Look at this though, I'm just struggling so much. I can't even... I'm 10, 11... I'm 12 seconds off the... 
the, the last, the next position, and even he's well off the next position, and that next position is well off the back of that pack, who is also well off the leader. Three more painful, painful laps. Ahead of where I started. I started last, I'm still last. Except two people have quit. <laughs> at least we can try and look at the positives though. Always one sec behind in quality, well ahead in the G70. We'll give it a look, it's it's definitely up there. Yeah, I started 16th. Still last in terms of who's actually running now, though. <laughs> but absolutely, it's better than nothing. Don't be a dipstick all your life. If you rage quit, you get an easier lobby next race. The dark arts of the game, eh? <laughs> rage quit for an easier, easier fixture. I know I can be good round here. It's just a bit more practice and and whatnot, and I need to start understanding those setup changes a little bit more, to be honest. you do want to be able to carry a little bit of the curb so you don't want the suspension to be too ridiculous because it's so easy to unsettle the car see there's certain corners I'm I do gain time to the leader but then this sector here I'm just losing so much with the the understeer Oh, that, and I've done the same mistake again. Literally. <laughs> the understeer was horrific. Oh, man. Full lock. Full throttle and full lock there on the right hander. Did we see that? You're always going to struggle to turn a car when you're planting it at full throttle like that, but I think that just shows the extent of our troubles here. Oh, God. Yeah, car is woeful. To be fair, though, the race leaders and everybody else is in this car. It does come down to setup and driver, but setups what's affected me on this one because we could have been quite a bit quicker with the uh, setup that we had before my problem being is I can't remember what I really changed I just thought oh we'll just try this on the suspension <laughs> and uh, I've buggered the whole thing we see we are good out of, the, out of that like that hairpin there though every time on this lap we've gained to the leader out of that hairpin and then look at all the time that we lose here. I just can't get the car to do what you want it to do. Which is... T oh, look at that. So as soon as you lift. Look at this. As soon as I lift off the throttle.
Don't even cross the line. We'll get there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the French. Uh, right, let me just see. I'll just delete this. Right, check it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. They didn't even make it. You'd think that a car that didn't exist, they would have been able to think, let's let's just make it a good one. <sighs> All right, give this a shot. What's that? So five, five. So, right, I'll look at those numbers when we go to do setup. Is this for the Citroen, though? Or do we think we should try now? Because we only got one more race. This is the final race. So we either do the Citroen. Quickly put your votes in the chat. Probably have to go with the first person to suggest is what we go with. Either the Citroen or we try the G70. But the G70 is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, or at least the group three is anyway. Ah, of course, actually, the G seventy is four wheel drive, isn't it? In the group four. Right, let's give it. A go. Let's give it a go. Let's try something different. I fancy trying the G seventy. Should we go with a similar theory of setup, though? Let's um, let's see if we can work this one out. So everyone get their thoughts in here. What 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 do we need to do on this setup? We've got a couple of minutes, and then I need to get some practice. Right, eight three roll. That feels like a lot of front understeer. That though. Right, twenty twenty on damp. Right, okay. Expansion, fifty fifty frequency. Whoa, hang on a minute. Whoa, what do you mean 50? You can't go... Yeah, don't copy and paste yet. Yeah, we're going with the, we're going with the G7. We're not trying to put the same setup on the G70. What's that? 2.1? 2.1? That doesn't go down to 2.1. What number you mean in there, keep it right, 2.5, okay. <laughs> G say no setup. 5.5 five initial, right, okay. Right, we're going with KP on this one. If we if we can do after, then we we'll we jump back into the Citroen and we try try the setup suggested on there. This feels a bit extreme. Five five break. All right, don't let me down here, KP. I'm relying on you here, and then we'll and then we'll try G setup for the Citroen. Oh no, we're going to have to do that setup again because now we need to come out of this to enter Quali. Oh, what a nightmare. Right, enter. Oh, no, no. Right, try again. Oh, now we're not going to have any time to do practice yet. Now that I've mucked that up. Right. Go again. Right. 
Right, the A3 roll bar is the only thing for me. I feel like that's going to be a little bit too extreme. I feel like that's a lot of front understeer. Right, 2020 on damp. See. Right, KP, you are going to get absolutely bollocked in chat if this goes wrong. <laughs> right, 2.5. All right, okay. <laughs> We're all debating this one. Nobody, nobody agrees with each other on setup now. Nobody agrees with each other here. Right, acceleration, you said... said 60 on acceleration was that right 55 five, 60 60 what and then 55 five on braking sensitivity my word this is a that's a pretty extreme setup that right how awful am i going to be at driving this or is it going to be surprisingly decent well already that is i do have to say a lot better through the corners than the Citroen with the setup that we had, not what G was suggesting. Right, and we want early short shift. Right, this is going to be the telltale here through this corner. How much do we have to. Oh, still a bit of understeer, but not as much as the Citroen. Right, this does feel better than the setup I had in the Citroen, but that's because I set up the Citroen, so... Right, okay, cool. Let's see if we can start a fly a lap here. Not that we've just got much practice in, but... It's enough to feel out the car. Go! Ha! Straight under here, off the track. Right, and then after this one, we will try the Citroen, and we'll give that a go, based on the setups that John and G are suggesting. Well, the, the sort of setup approach for, for that one. Oh, it breaks a bit late there. Go, 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 go. Oh, I've messed that right up. Oh, literally, the start of the last lap was better than this. Right, we want a short shift in this as well. Breaking as late as I can there, I think. I'll right, probably break a touch later. A touch later wouldn't be too bad. Right, looks to me like we need really early short shifts on this thing, though. Oh, really? Full revs. Go, 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 go. Right, might not actually be the worst, this. Do we definitely want full revs yet? What's this going to be? 37s? Yes! Get in. Get in, get in. Right, it might not have registered that time, though, because we crossed the line and then we were straight in. Yeah, it's not it's not registered that time, but it will carry it through to the next race. <laughs> right, 37 there, point seven I think it was. So 37.7 in this lobby would get us P8, P9. Interesting. Right, interesting.
Right, that worked out alright, that, that. The car's like a little bit more predictable than the butchered setup that I gave the Citroen before. Right, trying out the G70 in this one. For anybody just tuning in. We're starting from the back. We just got ourselves a 37.7 on quali, but it didn't carry through because it was just, just before the checkered flag on quali. So we still start at the back, but opportunity to progress in the G70 here. Where will we end up? Let's go. Right, you also said brake balance four. I'm following your entire setup here, KP. I'm absolutely going for this, yeah. Ferrari's turned into us a bit there. He's going to do the same again. Oh. No. Alright, well that's just made progressing a little bit harder. Oh, it's an N N NSX. It's not a... I think I said Ferrari there. I saw red and I saw for and I thought Ferrari. Oh god, they're killing each other. Oh, oh if we get straight through there, we're gonna be on the outside of this Citroen here. I think we're gonna get tapped off here. No. Right, we're going to serve this penalty. A little bit brutal. Got squeezed into a penalty here. Oh, God. Yeah, that test account, if we remember, he was actually in a couple of YouTube videos being a fairly not fair clean driver. John, uh, James, sorry, how we doing? Hit there. Hit and pushed off. Ah! Oh! Penalty. This is a really, really frustrating start. Ah, we've been hit again. No. Right, another penalty to serve yet. Shed not finished yet. We're waiting for the plaster to dry. <laughs> Getting painted next week. Right, try again. Two laps in, we've served two penalties and been pushed off track twice, I think. Focus, 10 laps left, absolutely. Wow, tire wear on that front right is really bad. 
Why are you asking if I got security on the shed? Are you thinking about burgling it? <laughs> we will definitely be getting uh, cameras on it though. Oh, just trying to squeeze through there. Pardon me. Don't mind me. Can't do that, honestly. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I've only got two little Jack Russells, and Leila has three little Chihuahuas. So I don't think um, <laughs> I don't think uh, they make the best guard dogs. You have to get a uh, a big one. Oh, that was awful. Let's try Daily Race B. We'll end on this one. This has been a shocking stream, this has. Oh, don't say everyone's in the GTR. Ugh, oh, RS01, wow. All right, wouldn't have expected to see that up there. Let's give that a go. Oh, man, what a shocking stream this has been. Right, let's hope for something decent at Spa. How naff has this been? I'm really surprised that the RSO1's the, uh, the top car, mind. Always crap on a Friday. I don't know what it is. Racing never goes well on a Friday for us. This is how this race is going to go as well, isn't it? We can just see. I'm probably not in the right car, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have done the Corvette, now I think about it. <sighs> what a crap night of streaming, eh? Let's see if we can make it up with this uh, race at Spa.
Right, this was probably a bad idea, to be fair. A nightmare of a stream, a nightmare of a load of Daily Race C attempts. And then we jump into Daily Race B with half a lap of practice of Spa in the RS01, which is a quick car but difficult car. And as James and John are suggesting, maybe I should have used something different. Uh, right. Let's try and salvage the stream. What can possibly go wrong? Who's that? That's already binned it. Race and chase already into the wall <laughs> out of the chicane. Look at the gap that we are to the leader already, though. You've got no chance of winning a Daily Race B, have you, at Spa. Look at the gap. And you can also see the break in the field where the ones that started at the chicane and the ones that didn't. I do find it a bit unfair where it starts you when you're racing at Spa. Right, good progress so far. This is where it becomes difficult now though. Big gaps in front of us that are really, really difficult to close at Spa. sent it. He sent it a bit too hard though. Please don't bin us. Go, 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 go. Right, 2.8 to the next car. They just put it into the wall. Oh, I thought I thought there was like four of them just drove into the wall. It's kind of like where they disappear off the screen up the top. Yeah, into this chicane. <laughs>
Favourite place to start is third, yeah, I know what you mean. And then if you get a good start, you're P1 by the uh, second chicane, or the first chicane. Right, I'm really struggling here. 3.7, 3.3 3 to the next position. What a challenge this has proven to be. Two more laps of Spa, and I don't think we're going to get any more positions. Like, on a serious note, this is actually a major issue with Daily Race B for more circuits around here. If you're going to have a race that's four or five laps, you've got to have everybody starting closer together. I know Daily Race A is normally a nightmare, and everybody does have grid starts and stuff on that one, or most of them do anyway. And that becomes the carnage and ridiculous, horrible race that it is. But the rolling starts need to be fixed. If we're going to stick with rolling starts, which I don't mind, they need to be fixed on Daily Race B. They absolutely need to. Especially on tracks like a spa, where you've got then people starting in the middle of the chicane. Literally, the lights go green, or it counts down to one, and the race starts, and they can't put the power down because they're in the middle of a corner, whereas you've got P1 through to P8, 9, 10, 11, whatever it is, being able to floor it from the start. And unless someone can correct me otherwise, I don't think there is any races in motorsport that do have a roll and start which a lot of them do but a roll and start where people of a certain position are as disadvantaged or, or, or way more disadvantaged than anybody else and that is definitely the case at Spa people that were starting behind me we it wasn't you know too bad for us we still had a braking zone to go into the chicane but the people ahead actually is who struggled the most and we saw someone bin it straight away, and that's the problem. Yes, you can say, well then you need to qualify a bit better, but it also depends in the lobby that you're in. Sometimes, some lap times that you can put together are enough for pole position in one lobby, and then, and then they're enough to start P9 or P10 or whatever that awkward position is for whichever track you're racing on, and all of a sudden, You've just wasted half an hour of your life on a pointless race. And this is kind of the same for us. Four laps of basically nobody. This guy in front has been quicker, admittedly. But look at the gap that he's got. It, impossible for him to catch to the guys ahead. Anyways, I think we all know the issue. I don't think we need a full video of me ranting on and talking about it but why polyphony haven't fixed this or figured out an alternative for this I do not know Yeah, exactly. In real GT racing at Spa, they start after turn one on a roll and start. Which is I think that's the case when they use the twenty four hour layout as well. I could be could be wrong there, but then um, you know, also the the daily race that we had here a few weeks ago, like we did recently just have this combo. Might have been group four though, uh, admittedly not group three for daily race B. That is where they started people and it was so much better. So why they've started people here, I've got no idea, but it's definitely a major issue for Daily Race B, and to be honest with you, it's starting to make these races less and less enjoyable. They need to fix the rolling starts, because this has just been an absolute waste of time, this race.
Oh, nightmare. <sighs> Should we try another daily race seat? Don't know if we should bother, to be honest. <sighs> See, now that we got that 37, all of a sudden it's not that bad. I tell you what, I'm gonna because that G70 that was gonna do us that was gonna do us well for that race. So let's do that again with that same setup. And let's try again. John's going to bed. I don't blame you, mate. I do not blame you. Let's try this uh, G70 again with that setup. Because that did work pretty well for me somehow. That's what I'm going for. Let's try. Right, predictions in. What do we think this car can do? Or what do we think we can do in this car? We've got enough time here to get, hopefully, well, definitely three laps of qualifying. Let's quickly... Get a couple laps in and get your guesses in. Before you go, John, what's your prediction? Right, I need to get used to driving this car again now. After four laps of Spa in a Group 3, it sort of knocks you a bit out of sync. <laughs> predict a good pace then get pit manoeuvred on the last turn absolutely oh it's guaranteed right we're only going to have enough time for two more laps here right let's go Right, predictions in. What will our lap time be? We want to get at least, well, we want basically 2.2 2 or so seconds improvement on that current lap there. And that will start to improve on that 37.7. Right, that's a good exit there. Let's go.
Well, it isn't going to be a two second in it. Oh, there we go. I forgot I served that penalty. Right, one more lap. One point nine hour improvement. That'll give us a thirty-seven point nine, thirty-seven point eight. Come on. That's a lot better. Tenth up already. Two tenths up. Right, we can cross the line with this one. Hopefully a couple tenths improvement overall. Go. Foot down. Three and a half tenths improvement. Four tenths improvement. This is going to be a good lap, this. Come on. Let's not balls it up now. As late as we day on the brakes. Direct to that apex. Quick 180. Go, 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 go. Lost a bit of time there. Still going to be four bit, four and a bit tense. Thirty-seven point four. Not going to be too bad. There we go. Let's keep going, Will, because we more or less get another lap of practice in here. Oh no, we messed it up. Not to worry. Right, that was a good lap though. To be fair, John, you were not far off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 37 treble four. Four, 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 and we got a four, three, four. Very close. That is unlucky, that John. You're always the, you're always managed to get the closest guess without actually getting it. <laughs> oh mate, we get it one. You'll get it one day. To be fair, you're also the person that's won the most T-shirts on this game, even though you haven't got an answer right. So, <laughs> also quite impressive. <laughs> Larry wins them for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. I need a good race here. We desperately, desperately need a good race. We're starting P6, so not too bad. Is looking at the podium a bit too ambitious. Hadzia, how are we doing? Welcome, welcome. Let me do a little quick refresh on the old YouTube studio here. 1,201. I wish that was how much money I made off YouTube, but that's our number of subscribers now. What a treat. Right. What happens with this one? We've had nightmare races the entire stream. Our wheel broke on the first one. Uh, I think I binned the second one. I also binned the third one. And then I got binned by somebody else on the fourth one. So this is our attempt number five. 
We're now in the G70. Switched and ditched from the Citroen. And this G70 is serving us pretty well at the moment. Let's go, come on. Predictions in, where are we going to end up? We're aiming for the podium if we're starting P6. But realistically, in this lobby, if we just hold on to P6, that in itself is probably a decent result. We can't be having that. We've got to end on a high on this stream. Right, break balance to the rear as well. Right, this guy's in the Genesis also. Right, let's go. We're always, always getting the better exit out of the slow corners there to P1. I think he's in the Citroen P1. Right, we can see the podium quite a way up there. And it's difficult enough to get, to get one overtake done around here. Never mind three overtakes to get onto the podium. So we'll be doing our best, but it's not going to be easy. We're going to pit lap five. Jonathan, how we doing? Right, they've had a bit of contact. We're going to get past Stuart here, I think, as long as he doesn't go to the inside there. Yeah, all good. Oh, bit of contact from behind. Oh, bit of contact. It's going to compromise me. Over and out of that chicane there. Hopefully, no penalty. Right, we get past one. Can we get past P4 here? I'm going to make it... Yeah, he can go defensive. That's fine. Because then we can try and get... If it works out okay for us here. The better exit not quite going to work because he's also in the four-wheel drive Genesis <gasps> oh my god watch what you're doing pal we almost had contact from behind there as well no we've had contact he's almost hit us off there come on Stuart a bit better than that oh come on he's going to go for it as well second bit of contact really is he having a laugh That can't be serious. Soz, pal. So we're off and out. If you can't beat them, join them, as they say. Yeah, bit of karma for him there, absolutely. Right, we've got the exit there, good stuff, come on. Try and build a gap now, or at least close the gap to P3. If we can. Did I see Stu in chat there? Absolutely, I did tap tap. <laughs> How are we doing, Stu? Hope we're all good. Problem now is P3 is five seconds up the road. That is the problem now.
honestly it is very very stable this car now with this setup I've got to say it it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be I actually forgot that this car was four wheel drive it is proving to be very very good definitely prefer it over the Citroen but now the tyre wear is quite bad so that's the only thing that we need to watch out for here 4.9 to the podium I don't quite think we're going to get the podium to be honest with you let's just try and hold P4 I would say this is a good result from P6 in this lobby quite quick drivers in this one on the track come on Yeah, front right tyre is getting uh, <laughs> a roasting, as you say. It's the only problem with this car. But I would much rather this, even still with this tyre wear, it is way more predictable than the Citroën. I'm not doing very well now at the minute though. <laughs> yeah, with a decent setup on the Citroen, definitely. Make it a bit easier to compare the two. Right, into the pits we go. Neither of those guys have gone into the pits, which is interesting. It would require an almighty undercut to gain 10 seconds in one outlap. <laughs> so I don't think we'll get any positions uh, on the uh, top three. But at least if we can close the gap. Now we've dropped quite a way back here. This is going to be the actual issue we have. Is now... We are behind what is essentially traffic. It's just guys that haven't yet pitted. But this is going to cost us a lot of time. Right, now this guy was quite dirty, as we mentioned in a previous race. He has been on some of our videos already up on YouTube. Hopefully we can just get past him. It's not quite going to happen at the moment though. This is definitely a problem. That's moving under braking. Come on. Let's not have that. That is absolutely moving under braking. Right, we need to close the gap to the leader now. 
because he is the podium sitter that has not gone into the pits. He is costing himself so much time, I expect. I'm sorry, but just knowing how dirty he has been, I'm making sure I get through there. I can't afford to lose any time. Need to be closing to the leader, which we're not going to do at the moment. So it's the guy in P1 that we are now racing for the podium. I need to gain a load of time, but it's not quite going to happen. He's gone long. So either tyre wear, not an issue for him, which judging by his pace, it clearly is not. How is he doing that? I do not know. Right, there's the 10th pulled back, 10th and a half. Still not going to be enough though, we need, we need seconds, not tenths. We need to be gaining seconds at a time, not tenths at a time. 24.8 the gap, he's going to go into the pits now, I would have thought. Surely you can't go the whole race without pitting. Right, into the pits he goes now. Where is this going to put him? He'll be still well out in front, I suspect. Because we didn't gain any time to him there, sadly. Having those guys in front and then compromising our exit. Onto the pit straight. Out of the pits he comes. He is so far up the road, it is unbelievable. Eight seconds up the road. And counting. We got yellow flag though. We got yellow flag. Who's this for? For Nicholas. Who's now P3. But he's still 5.3 seconds up the road. Now unless he's got damage. We've still got no hope. Three more laps to go. Yeah, absolutely just trying to stay on them. Problem being, he's also got the fastest lap. He's rapid, this guy. He's got 31.1 as the fastest lap of the race. I could only dream of that in quali. It's actually a decent exit there. Tenth and a half gained to the leader on that one. Why haven't I not been driving like that before? Come on, we just need another mistake from them up front there. But we need it to be a big one. <laughs> the 
problem being uh, P1 is just well out front. P2 and 3 aren't even really that close to each other, so it's not like one's going to crash in and to the other or cause any incidences like that, I don't think. Four seconds is the gap now. What's happened there? Possibly another mistake from him. Can we have another mistake, please? 3.8 the gap. I shouldn't have started backing down and settling down earlier, should I? Go, go, go. 3.7 the gap, only just. Yeah, problem that the, the, the guys ahead, if you look at the gaps, they're nowhere near close enough to be uh, having any kind of fights. But 3.7 is the gap here. Hopefully, hopefully, he makes another mistake. I'm not going to bank on it, though. Penalty, that is. Oh, you absolute plonker. It's probably a penalty, that. No, we're all right. He's been it, he's been it, he's been it, he's been it, he's been it. Yes! <laughs> no way! Go, 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 go. He's now two seconds behind us. No, don't us make the same mistake. 2.4 behind. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on. How on earth has that happened? Oh, yes. Right, that's not us spin it now, come on. Oh. Get in. Oh, there we go. After literally an awful, awful stream, we end on a bit of a high with an A-plus driver binning it three times in the race. And we get ourselves on the first step of the podium. Well, that makes up for a fairly awful night of races that we've had so far. I never race on a Friday night. Or I learned not to race on a Friday night because it is always an absolute nightmare. But, but, tonight proved me wrong. Maybe we should race on a Friday more often. Thank God that happened and we can end the stream on a high. Always stick with it because you never know what is going to happen. Eh? There we go. Lovely stuff. Well, hopefully everybody's enjoyed that one. And if you have done, please do subscribe. Plenty more live streams and videos that are going to be on the way and on the channel very soon. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Right, we will be back to stream on Sunday night for the British Heart Foundation GT3 Championship. And then we will be back on Monday night. Normal service resumes with our Monday night streams to have our first look at the daily races. So please do, if you haven't done so already, please do hit the like button on the stream. And if you haven't done so, please do hit the subscribe button on the stream also.
there we go. Yeah, Sunday and Monday, the next two streams, and then we'll see where we are at after that. Uh, Grand Prix that weekend, this weekend as well. If you haven't seen qualifying, please make sure you check it out because it is a good one. Um, I say please check it out as if I've got, you know, as if it benefits me. Make sure you go check it out because it was a really good qualifying session uh, for the Formula One. Sprint weekend tomorrow. Looking forward to that. That should be good. Potentially more exciting than the Grand Prix itself. We shall wait and see and find out. Predictions in for that one as well. Yeah, good night all. Enjoy what is left of your Friday night. Enjoy your weekend. And hopefully I will see you either Sunday or Monday. Toodles. <laughs>